And good afternoon, folks. It's Chief Meteorologist Nick Lilly here taking a peek at your tropical update brought to you by the good folks at uh, Tropical Pool and Spa. And uh, boy, howdy, is it uh, active out there in the tropics. Of course, uh, next name up is going to be Isaac, and that's uh, TD9, which is anticipated to be Isaac here coming up in the next about uh, 24 uh, to 48 hours. Uh, the remnants of Gordon are now gone, but we still have Florence out there and Helene, and we may have Joyce on deck as well. Uh, the reason? Well, uh, things have kind of opened up in terms of the atmosphere, and underneath the opening up of the atmosphere, we've got uh, sea surface temperatures that are really hanging out in the mid-80s, almost all the way out to the greater and lesser Antilles, and as far north as Bermuda. Starting things off in the Gulf of Mexico, we do have a little area of intriguement. Uh, this isn't out on the NHC anywhere, but we've got a little bit of mid-level rotation out here that we've got to watch. I don't anticipate to see anything out of this, uh, but we may have a little action that kind of lifts to the north out of Caribbean that may interact with this as this drifts this direction and it may eventually become a problem rainfall wise uh, for parts of uh, South Texas. South Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama, I don't think we have anything to uh, worry about with this one. Uh, looking at the wider shot, uh, we got enough on our plate out here. We've got uh, Helene here, TD9 here, Florence here, Invest 94L there, and uh, we'll walk you through all of them. First things first, start with Florence. Tropical Storm Florence still. Uh, this is actually not good. We were hoping that this thing would get back into a hurricane and so it would get lifted a little further off to the north, but uh, as it's still a tropical storm, it's still drifting west at 7 miles an hour. Anticipated to be, yes, a Category 4 hurricane as it approaches uh, the east coast of the United States somewhere between Cape Hatteras and Jacksonville. Uh, at least that's where the cone is pointing now. If this trend continues with it not strengthening very quickly, uh, we may have to further and further dip that cone down off to the south. I still don't think this is a problem for us in South Mississippi or Alabama or Louisiana. But we'll watch it. We'll continue to watch it and monitor it. If you're living along the East Coast or know somebody that's living between, again, Jacksonville and Cape Hatteras, so you may want to give them a ring. And that goes inland, too, uh, not just along the coast. But if you live inland between those uh, latitudes, uh, you may want to give them a ring or shoot them a text message and say, hey, you may want to watch the weather forecast the next couple of days. Helene's going to be a fish storm for the most part. Wind at 50 miles an hour now. Uh, moving west at 13. This thing's going to turn into a Cat 1 and then kind of drift off to the north and northwest, um, and I, I really think this may be a problem for the Azores, but outside of that, uh, not really a big concern for uh, anybody else. The Cabo Verde Islands, and let me go back, the Cabo Verde Islands will have uh, impacts from this, as you can see, they're already on the north side of this thing, but uh, for everybody else, uh, they're just going to kind of watch this one. Uh, Tropical Depression 9, wind at 35, gusting to 45, moving now west-northwest at 6. So at least it's moving again. It was nearly stationary yesterday. Uh, this one anticipated to be a Category 1 as it approaches the Greater and Lesser Antilles there uh, by the time we get toward Thursday at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. So none of these are going to bother you for the rest of the weekend or through most of your uh, work week, in fact, all of your work week this next week. Um, we may have to watch some of these as we head into next weekend, but even then, I think we're going to have to wait until the following week before stuff uh, really shows up uh, for us. And then, of course, we've got Invest 94L out here. Now a 10 to 10 uh, percent chance of development the next to two to five days. This is going to uh, likely drift that direction and away from everybody else. Originally, the, the worry was there was a, a ridge out here and this thing was going to kind of get bounced that direction. Uh, we'll have to see how it interacts with Florence and how Florence interacts with it. Uh, I'm trying to think of the storm a couple of years ago uh, that was out here that we had a a sort of similar situation. Um, I, I, I'm losing it right now. I had it before we started this recording. It's on the tip of my tongue. But what ended up happening is we had a, a little something out here and whatever was out here was supposed to go well, kind of like that. And it ended up kind of pushing it up there and I think it pulled it back a little bit quicker. Uh, so it nudged it further west, but also pulled it back, f or it nudged it further west, and then pulled it back further east. Um, we'll have to watch and see what Invest 94L does to Florence, though, uh, in terms of shear and in terms of steering, uh, as well as uh, what's happening aloft. And again, getting back into the Gulf, uh, whatever is happening here and whatever uh, comes up from the south there and pushes it that direction uh, will need to be monitored, but I'm not too terribly concerned about it for us. In fact, uh, here's what 
Uh, the models are saying, again, we've got, uh, there's Florence, there's 94L, there's TD9, there's Helene. Uh, we can kind of set these things into motion. I'll clear these out. Uh, Florence moving this direction, TD9 moving that direction, and Helene's going to kind of do one of those numbers. Now we can watch them kind of do that. Uh, and then we've got, I uh, talked about Joyce on deck. This may eventually become Joyce back here. This is Wednesday at 7.30 of uh, next week in the morning. I think by the time we get Thursday and Friday. This is just one model, so don't kind of try and get too fixated on exactly where Florence is on this one. Uh, but generally, the trend is these are moving this direction. Florence is going to kind of do one of those. Helene is moving up this way. Joyce out here, or maybe Joyce, I, I shouldn't call it Joyce yet, would be moving this direction, but it eventually runs into maybe some drier air that's out there. Uh, and then as we head through next weekend, now this is what it looks like. Uh, it looks like Isaac TD9 kind of falls apart. Joyce falls apart. Helene falls apart. And Florence is still there, uh, still watching to see what uh, Florence does. So there's your tropical update for September 8th of 2018. Uh, brought to you by the good folks at the Tropical Pool and Spa.